so first of all we will install palo alto firewall version 9 and eve ng uh, what is eve ng basically eve means emulated virtual environment next generation ng means next generation this is a multi vendor virtual network simulation software where you can use many uh, virtualized router switches firewall and you can leave them many vendor you know many vendor not only cisco you can use cisco juniper palo alto fortigate and so many vendor at support okay so it's a virtual environment and at least you require 16 gb if you want to run so many things okay but it can be run under 4 gb and under 8 gb as well uh, there are two edition one is professional edition and the, which is paid one and the other is community edition we will use community edition there is no such huge difference but anyway in community edition you can only limit 63 nodes on the same time but in professional edition you can run as many unlimited and also when the devices are on you cannot plug them in community edition but in professional edition you can do and docker some dockers are not supported in community edition but it's supported in professional edition so how we can install so this is the way uh, i already uh, on eve so this is the ip address and i'm logging here but i don't have palo alto firewall so if i search here so i only have eight version but i want to install version 9 in eve okay so what i can do i need uh, any application like winscp either filezilla to upload the application so what i need to do go to winscp i have winscp it can be filezilla as well in any other application so what is the ip address 192.168.114.138 so let me go to uh, 138 yeah this one and username is root password is 123 port number 22 and sftp okay and click login so i am logging in kali linux but i need to go to opt unit lab adds on and key this is the directory okay keep in mind opt unit lab adds on and key so when you reach here so what you need to do you have to create one folder directory and where i can get the detail the name convention so it's very easy go to eve documentation you know eveng when you google it go to eveng click on documentation and here is uh, kimu image naming that's the best thing and control f i will say palo alto so the name should be palo alto dash and dash means version so let me copy this and come here create a uh, palo alto it should be in small letter the same there and which image i want to deploy so my image is version 9 this is the version 9 q cow okay to this one so i will type here 9.0.0 .0 .0. And I would set permission full anything I want to put on this folder in Linux 777 it means for owner and group and other so my folder has been created this folder which I created now what I need to do I need the image so I already download image skewcow2 this the qcow2 extension just drag that image to this folder keep in mind I drag the folder I drag the file which I downloaded with extension qcow2 okay and to this folder is the name they suggest but inside the folder name should be this one so let me copy this one and after when I copy I will rename because this is the name it will not work keep in mind so in if you have to follow name convention they have some specific name to give to the hard drive and to the folder so the folder name should be palo alto with dash after dash um, version and then uh, I, I have to rename it so let's see so this is the way i take a 
then I went to this the remote machine and this is my machine so on the left side okay this the left side this is my machine and this one is the Eve okay so I need to do okay I need to go to this path OPT unit lab edge on and chemo rename the file which I told you you can rename already in your system either you can rename inside here it's up to you with this file name so it's copy now yeah so right click and rename paste the name this the name should be this the name it has to be then it will work okay and it is done what you need to do login with the console root and password is eve okay and this the command you have to type this one whenever you do changes okay so after that you have to type this command fix permission and type enter that's it okay now if i go back to eve topology and say node and type palo alto when you click so look it i have now two version if it is visible it means you done everything properly so click on 9 okay and this the cpu and everything is mentioned here so what i need to do you can put vnc either it's up to you either you can make them as a telnet but anyway let me make them vnc now i need a network cloud so let me connect to my management cloud okay and this the connectivity to the keep in mind management interface normally student connect them to one then they say i cannot access so you have to choose management interface by default it will take one and right click start okay so in real environment palo alto firewall on management ip is 192.168.1.1 but in virtual environment it uh, there is a dhcp enable so it will take uh, dhcp ip here automatically it will take ip from dhcp server so i'm using net cloud what is my net cloud range so let me go to virtual network editor and my net cloud ip is 192.168.114 so in your case it will be different okay so let me type that ip here 192.168.114.24 so it will take automatically any ip from this range it should be from this by sorry it should be 114 so let me make them 114 this is the range maybe 20 maybe 30 maybe 200 any ip uh, in this range okay because dhcp is enabled on this one okay and net cloud i connected to the net cloud so that i can access this firewall in my browser here okay this is the range i'm also using net here as well because this my AVE so EVE first interface is net let me show you okay this net so that's why my management also this one net and first interface so I make them management cloud if I make them cloud one so it will get this range IP because this is the interface two but anyway uh, you can use any but in my case I use net cloud okay so what you need to do double click on this one and open by the way it will take some time to boot and then it will take some time to type the username and password default username and password is admin 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 is the username and admin is the password okay but it will not take directly you have to wait for uh, more than two minutes so then then you can type the username and password okay so still it's booting it's come up but it will not take the username and password keep in mind if i say admin it admin no it say is incorrect basically it's correct but you have to wait for a while so the services can up then you can type the username and password so it will take so let me wait for that one and let go on this one so you can rename and everything on your system and just drag them to vnc here directly it means whatever i done here 
this folder which I created. You can directly create it on your system and inside rename the file and just drag them here. So two way, either create a folder here. Okay, so here I created in my system, I rename it to this one. This is the file um, extension is to be and then you can drag them. How you can drag, just drag it here uh, and key me U directory. When it's done, apply this command on CLI. You can copy this command from internet, by the way, just an EVENG website you can copy from there. Then what I done, basically I click on node, search for Palo Alto, and then I choose version 9, okay. Then I choose my management cloud, I drag one network cloud, okay, management one. So it will take my first interface, okay. And because DHCP is enabled, so it will take automatically IP. So this is the connectivity. After a while, so when it's boot up properly, it will get DHCP IP automatically. And in my case, it will take 114. This is the old slide, so it takes 17 range automatically. Uh, type the username and password, which is admin admin, okay. And when you see your IP, you can type that IP in your browser with HTTPS, keep in mind, okay. It will give you some warning, certificate warning, ignore that one. Okay, click on save and continue. Type username and password, which is admin admin again. Again, it will prompt you that uh, you are using default username and credential. It's okay, just say okay. And you will be logging to Palo Alto Firewall version nine. So let's see, uh, I am here still. So let me type admin and type admin. Still it's not taking because we have to wait for another minute or two so it can accept the username and password. Okay, so it will take you to the dashboard. So there are seven tabs. Uh, by default, it will land you an dashboard tab. Okay, this is the way to deploy uh, Palo Alto Firewall in Eve NG. Okay. So let me try again, admin and admin, still it's not accepting, now it's accepting, you know it's showing the IP, so it means, what is the IP, I can type admin, okay, let's uh, type again, this time it will take by the way, so admin and admin, oh, admin and admin still not accepting the IP so we have to wait for another 30 second or something admin and admin okay now it's accepting so it show me the warning it's okay just enter okay and show interface management to see the IP so IP is 192.168.192.168.114.195 So I told you it will take IP from this range yeah So 114.195 So let me HTTPS 192.168.114.195 Okay this was the IP yeah 194 sorry so 194 so it's giving me warning certificate warning it's okay advance click proceed unsafe now type the username password uh, admin and password is admin again it will show you a warning this is the warning it's okay default credential and you will be logging to palo alto firewall version 9 Okay, let me show you. It will take you to the dashboard tab. So this is the way to deploy Palo Alto Firewall version 9 and Eve NG.